Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve their house robber problem. You are a professional robber planning to rob houses along a street. Each house has a certain amount of money stashed. The only constraint stopping you from robbing each of them is that adjacent houses have security system connected and it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into on the same night. Given a list of non-negative integers representing the amount of money of each house, determine the maximum amount of money you can rob tonight without alerting the police. In example 1, this is the input, all the houses, and the maximum amount of money is 4. As you can see, you can rob house 1 and then house 3, and that gives you 4. Because they're not adjacent, this is OK. Example 2, the maximum is 12. First you rob house 1, that has money 2, and then house 3, that has money 9, and then house 5, that has money 1, and that gives you 12. So how can we solve this problem? This is a typical dynamic programming problem, so we need to reuse the previous computations in order to get to the final result. So we can have a few variables to track the sum of the even position and the odd position. And then we have to make a decision uh, because we want to get the maximum, we want to optimize. So we want to make a decision at every position, if it is odd or even, of continuing with this position or actually using the previous position if it gives you more benefit. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to need integer rob odd actually wrote even gets a value of zero rob odd gets a value of zero then for integer i gets a value of zero i is less than norms that length plus plus i so i will check if this position is odd or even so if i modulo 2 equals equals zero this position is even else this position is odd so if this position is even, then I want to uh, update me I want to update my variable rob even. So we'll say rob even gets a value of math that max of rob even plus num sub i because this is an even position. I add this the value of this house to what I have for rob even, and then I check which one gives me more. This or sticking with what I had before, which is rob odd. And I do the same for rob odd. Rob odd gets a value of math.max of rob odd. And because this is an odd position, I can add the value of this house plus num sub i, or sticking with what I had before, which is rob even. And at the end of the iteration, I return the max. Math.max of rob even or rob odd. I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. The time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the array, and the space complexity is big O of 1 because we're only using a few extra variables. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.